happy vlogmas day two guys i hope you're all okay guess what i've woken up with the, the bloody cold again haven't i so it looks like i'm not going to the toy shop after all today i don't think you understand guys when i woke up my voice was like <laughs> like it was so low it sounds bad now i uh, I thought I genuinely, I was like, I think I'm going to have to do a no talking vlog. Which honestly does kind of sound nice. But now I'm indoors all day, again. I haven't really got much Christmassy things in my room. I know I said I was going to paint this. Day. Oh, let me show you my current, <laughs> my little drawing. I never claimed to be an artist, right? I didn't. This is just the life that chose me. <laughs> I think he's so cute. I really wanted to actually get started with knitting the cardigan today. I'm not joking. This has been in this bag for probably like two months. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my old, my Halloween socks are in here too. Honestly, these, I just need to frog these because I put these on or I tried to get them on and it's just, the, the yarn is just not great for that. Um, love that pattern, but the yarn is not great. Oh, okay. So yeah. I don't think I've actually done anything since I last spoke to you about this. I'm not going to lie. Um, I need to just... I think I think I done the length to the point where I was like, right, the next step is the ribbon. But the reason I didn't start the ribbon was because my yarn ran out. Um, and I didn't want to add any more. And then I just never started it again. So that is going to be the plan for today. Um, and yeah, just another cosy day. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like all of my videos are just going to be me having a cozy day in my room to be honest um but that is reality also guys i do have a week off like from now it's monday now i'm off until like next sunday hence why i was like oh maybe i will do vlogmas because i feel like the week off right at the beginning of december is really like a it's like a yes that's perfect so you have to do it once i go back to work all hell breaks loose i'm gonna go have some food because i need i'm not gonna lie all i want is some toast and a cup of tea that is all I want. And oh my god, we have Zoella Vlogmas today. Oh, I need to edit. I forget that I'm also now in this. Like, I have to do it. Okay. I will be back once I've been fed and watered. <laughs> Guys, the way I'm currently sat going through all of oh, this is not great lighting. Oops. Um <laughs> going through all of these random like Christmas sound effects on Epidemic. Um if you don't know like Epidemic is kind of like you subscribe to it or like you pay monthly and then you get like copyright free music. Um and I'm just trying to find like a little jingle to like put in the start of my vlogs. And I'm just sat here like like I don't know what one. <laughs> Ooh. that just itched something in my brain but i'm sitting trying to um trying to get the vlog finished before i start anything else because i feel like if i start something else this is not going up like i'm kind of scared i haven't posted for ages we have lights okay pov that's how dark it is in the uk it is literally at 12 p.m and i've had to put the ring light on because it's just so dark as you know i've been sat trying to find a bloody jingle because i want to have like a little something to like show this vlogmas do you know what i mean i know a lot of you do sometimes message me and like ask about starting youtube and stuff guys just do it like it's actually not that scary i was talking to my friend about this last night i feel like when I was at school and stuff, when I wanted to, like, post, I'd be like, oh, my God, I don't want people to find out and stuff. And, like, it just felt like such, like, a, oh, my God, like, I have to, like, post a video. Guys, I'm not joking. You, I press upload and I say, good night. Like, it's really not that deep. But um, I will say things like copyright. Um, fun facts. My, um, like, most viewed video, which is one of, like, my old crochet vlogs, I think um got completely copyrighted because there was copyright free music in it that was not copyright free um so if you're looking for um because i used to just use the people on youtube i used to just like find some like cutesy lo-fi aesthetic music sort of thing um i used to sometimes because like, like what happened that it got copyrighted um i used to like screen record 
the song and then i would upload it privately into youtube to see if it actually would get copyrighted and then i decided just to get epidemic because I, I always wondered like how where are all these people get in there like all these big vloggers and youtubers where are they get in their music from and then i realized I, like, I was looking in the description boxes of some of their videos and then they'll say like music from epidemic or whatever and it has a big old selection of uh, music to choose from but i honestly spend half the time trying to find music okay i'm gonna edit in and then we can do some knitting Divas, I've just watched through the vlog. I've finished editing. I need to just do a little like intro thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And as I was doing that, I just finished. Oh, <laughs> voice said bye. I just finished my little drawing. Well, I say finished. I've like coloured everything in. Oh, whoa! I've coloured everything in. I need to do all the highlights and stuff. But oh, isn't that just so cute? Like, wow, love that so i'm glad i finished that i need to just now sort the rest of this out and do the thumbnail and then i'm done for vlogmas day one i just need to sort what we're doing today because it's now 3 p.m I know the line is awful, but I've just been sat here trying to edit the thumbnail. Guys, I just can't thumbnail like I used to. Like, this is very much poor for me. <laughs> I just, things I forget to, like, pose or, like, because you know how, like, all the all the professional YouTube girlies, like, they pose for their thumbnails. Like, how, like they'll just be, like, I've done it a few times. I always forget. Whenever I'm doing vlogs, I have to sit there through all that, the, like, clips and just try and find like somewhere that i can just pause it and screenshot because i forget to take pictures um but that's now done i need to actually finish doing it this why is this taking me all day also it's it feels like it's so dark it's only just gone four o'clock but let me know who you're watching this vlogmas because i want to find some like new people um they can be crafty or uh, they can just be i don't know booky or like anything i don't really mind but i'm so excited to watch zoella wowza i'm excited my vlog is scheduled to upload in like an hour and a half i'm about to go eat a fat roast dinner so i'll be back to do some knitting later because i'm hoping that when i come back after dinner i'm gonna have some vlogmases to watch time being they can stay like that okay don't mind the hair because i have just sprayed uh dry shampoo in it so it is looking a bit gray that's okay um guys it's time i'm gonna pick up the knitting needles i haven't picked up knitting needles in like two months so this is the uh hillside cardigan by ashley lillis it's free on ravelry and there's a free um youtube tutorial it's a really simple raglan um cardigan it's super chunky i'm using i think these are 10 millimeters or nine millimeters one of the two i don't know and it's the uh Warcraft super chunky in the shade 204 it's just this really bright cherry red love it um and yeah this is it is acrylic but it is kind of like it has sort of like fluffish fibers i guess um but yeah i've done pretty much the body um i did get my nan to try this on and i'm pretty sure it's at the right length now because obviously i'm going to add length to the ribbing anyway i don't know whether to just do another row i'm going to do another two rows um just so because i know she wants it quite long so i'm like i'd rather just do it a bit longer um even though i know it's going to drop i feel like it she'll prefer it to be a bit longer than a bit short do you know what i mean this is either gonna put me off for another like four months or i'm gonna get a bit uh obsessed again so 
we shall see also this pattern's really good because it's because it's so simple i don't have to keep referring back to it and it's also just like you just make it your own kind of thing you don't have to follow a certain amount of rows which i love and i hate sometimes because sometimes um if i'm doing like a cardigan or something or whatever, whatever i'm doing if it says like knit till your desired length i'm like yeah but i don't know what my desired length is that is my issue and i always make things either too long too short or too big i don't think i've ever made anything too small i always overcompensate and it bites me back in the ass every single time i actually made a um it's probably on my instagram stories i think a while ago um i actually there was a vlog for it and everything and i started editing it and i was like actually i don't care because i don't like what i made <laughs> literally it was this blue and gray stripy um actually i think i got the yarn in it in like one of the last vlogs i don't know if anyone else has this issue but i find with petite knit everything i've made so far the armholes are ridiculously big oh my god i feel like i'm already gonna get excited the fact that i'm knitting because so i'm knitting in nails so that's always that's always fun i feel like all of the armholes is in like it's so deep like you see this obviously i didn't knit this guys this is from primark but like you can see they're not so deep like the arms are not crazy huge even though they're still baggy the arms on every single one of my petite knit things i've tried to knit has always been huge and then i've always like stopped working on it or just unraveled it or whatever and i don't know how to fix it oh, oh i think i'm gonna have a problem again yeah, i feel like every single thing i've made from her is like the armholes are super deep and i don't know if it's because i'm making a wrong size but even so, whenever I've made something that a different size, even that is too big. Like, I don't know. Does anyone else have that issue? I don't know if it's with the bigger sizes or what. Um, but let me know if you also have that issue because I don't know what's going on there. Yesterday I mentioned about the Clio sweater that I'm currently knitting. Um, or I was knitting. Let me just say, guys, I never vlogged any of that one because I at that point I was vlogging like most of the things i was working on and i just kind of wanted a project where i wasn't filming so i could just do it here and there and whenever i didn't have to constantly worry about like filming it let me say right that was the first um project that i've had to do like um it's a drop shoulder i think it's not a raglan whenever i make jumpers or sweaters it's always a raglan and i've never done a drop shoulder before let me tell you the way i don't know what it was in me i think it was the yarn i was excited from the pattern i did the like the because you do the back and then like the two shoulder flaps and then you join it i did all the back and forth rows probably within like four days i'm a slow knitter that is a lot for me and then i'm not joking as soon as i started doing stocking out i lost all the interest isn't that weird because obviously you join and stocking it in the round and usually when i'm going in the round i'm like Brrr. no with that one I don't know what come over me i feel like whenever i start knitting and i'm filming i always start thinking about the books i'm reading because i used to always listen to audiobooks what have i read recently that i haven't spoke about quicksilver i read quicksilver i think the last book that i had filmed about that i was reading i think was zodiac academy um and i'm on zodiac academy book three um because you can so put that down and then come back to it like it's so fine but yeah i read quicksilver loved it couldn't tell you a plot point right now i've kind of forgotten most of it because i read it so quick um and then i started reading throne of glass and i did start doing a reading vlog for that but i'm not gonna lie i read um throne of glass and then crown of midnight and then i'm like halfway through assassin's blade i'm not joking i probably put down assassin's blade like three weeks ago and i haven't picked it up since not because i wasn't enjoying it but it was because i just like i wanted something i don't know honestly i think i just wanted something like a bit trashy like <laughs> i just want this site like that i could <gasps> oh my the train of thought has just hit the station i wanted something trashy or like just something that like i don't have to really use my brain for and so i read well, what is it even called the sweetest obsession is that what it's called about like a mafia group and stuff like yeah that's what i needed i needed something that was just 
a bit trashy and an easy read and it served its purpose yeah i think that's all the books i've read recently that i can remember off the top of the old head um a few that i want to read um of course i want to read knock decada but that is just like ridiculously long obviously i want to finish throw a glass um and well i know that Fanta phantasma phantasma has been popping off recently that one and i feel like there was another one oh i can never remember what it's called um anathema that's the other one a lot of them you can tell that like when i was in my reading era because a lot of them are quite like halloweeny spooky vibe i think a lot of those ones like the fantasy ones are i've not really been reading honestly guys i think where the, <laughs> the sun has been going down so early and like i've just been ill i think i've just i lost so much interest in all of my hobbies which kind of sucks but i didn't want to do anything like there was a point where i was like i was like i don't want to do anything i don't want to go on my phone i don't want to read i don't want to knit like i was just like watching tv and you know what i was watching guys it's such a good show it's on um bbc iplayer it's with stacy solomon for all of my american watchers stacy solomon is i don't know how, how would you explain stacy solomon she was on x factor like years and years ago and then she kind of just become a bit of like a i wouldn't even say a reality star she was on i'm a celeb um which if you, that's another show i've been really watching recently and then she went out with the guy from jackass um steve-o which like if you ask me how on earth that happened i couldn't tell you anyway she has a show called sort your life out where they basically go into these like family homes they literally take out every single thing from these houses like the furniture they pull out everything from like the loft the garage and they lay every single thing out in these huge warehouses in categories and the families have to come in and they more or less have to get rid of like 50 percent of their belongings and it is just like it's baffling because you don't realize how much stuff you have that you just don't need that you've just got for the sake of it that's something that i really struggle with because i, I have an issue with throwing things away because i'm like oh but i might need that at some point realistically say if i threw a book out right and then if i was like oh i really want to read that now i could just go buy it again like unless it's something really really like personal and like sentimental realistically there's not much that we really need do you know what i mean and like i watch it and i'm like i'm like i want to change my life i want to get rid of every single thing um also that is the pearl road done also i've just realized i had to do that anyway because now i'm going on to the knit row oh maybe i'm just going to start on the ribbon i know i said i was going to do two more rows i'm just going to do that because i didn't realize i had to do another row anyway i just started knitting and didn't think right is this long enough right oh i'm going on to the ribbing now um but i'm gonna stop yapping on now because i've been talking for 16 minutes and i'm gonna watch zoella vlogmas <laughs> on the lion i've just been sat here knitting and i've only done like <laughs> three rows and i've just realized that i'm like halfway through a row and i think i'm gonna have to <laughs> frog it <laughs> all the way back because i've got somehow got an extra stitch and i can't figure out which one is supposed to be like something has gone wrong let me show you there's one stitch that's fallen off here this is a knit stitch right this is a pearl this should be a knit but this is also a knit <laughs> so i don't really know what happened here but i don't know how on earth i didn't catch that going the other way and it's annoying because when i got to the end of the first row i thought that i'd had an extra stitch so i just um purled two together and no i think there was meant to be an extra stitch here usually i don't really mind if there's like a few stitches that are off um but because this is ribbon and also because this is for me like i don't know how to fix that unless i just like stitch two together and just forget it happened but the, also the thought of like ribbing all the way back i might just stitch two together and just see what it looks like i'm just gonna pull two together and see if it fixes like that if it's really obvious i will go back but oh, i don't want to go back I'm so confused as to how that's happened <laughs> 
how i didn't notice it on, on either side yikes okay i haven't finished the ribbing yet um but i've done like this much i don't even know how many rows like maybe like six rows or something i don't know but for time being i'm gonna stop now um just because i don't know how long so i think i'm gonna do a few more rows eventually um i'll do it tomorrow but i'm gonna have an early night tonight because i had a late night last night because i was sat watching tiktok would you be surprised and then i have to stay up late tomorrow um because i have to pick my friend up so but yeah hope you enjoyed the little chit chats um i think tomorrow i want to go i might get a christmas tree or something i don't know um thank you for watching if you're still here and i shall see you in the morning bye